Hurricane Ian did to Cuba. The storm slammed the island as a Cat 3. Homes are damaged, and now many are without power. And Local 10's Hatzel Vela is live in Little Havana to show us a little bit more of this video. Hatzel? Christy, as you know, the infrastructure on the island is already a fragile one. They're also dealing with an economic crisis, and now this. Mira, Bobby. Images that break your heart. 99-year-old Jesus Pino Aleman in his home submerged in floodwaters up to his waist. The rest of the family navigating as best they can in the town of La Coloma, where Hurricane Ian reportedly made landfall on the southwestern shore of Cuba. Here in Florida, that man's daughter tells me residents in that tiny town thought they would die and lose everything. In these pictures, you could see the flooded buildings. Seeing my father in those conditions, she says, has been one of the toughest moments I have lived. For many here in South Florida, those images touch in a different way. The videos quickly coming out of the island create deep concern here locally, especially for those who still have relatives down there. Pinal del Rio, the westernmost province in Cuba, is ground zero for the damage. It's where Cuba makes its world-renowned tobacco. Many of those farms are now likely damaged. Cuba already suffering one of its worst economic crises in history. Its infrastructure is fragile. The toughest time in the history of her little town, she says. She tells me she hasn't been able to talk to her father since 7 a.m., I should say. Now, obviously, this is going to be an issue for many here in South Florida trying to reach the relatives on the island. The other issue, of course, of course is going to be power outages on the island. For now, reporting live from Little Havana, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News. Certainly dealing with a lot there. All right. Thanks, Hatsal.